In this video, we'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the 2023 Ordinary Level Maths Leave Insert. I recommend you try the question before watching, and if you get stuck anywhere, feel free to ask for help in the comments. I will do my best to get back to you. Check out my channel for a playlist with all the other questions. This is question five from paper two, and in this question, we're gonna be dealing with a circle and a square, and we're basically just gonna be working out some areas and some circumferences. Things are basically a question's all about this, this, this shape here, this uh, collection of shapes, circles and squares. To start us off, in part A, they simply ask us to find the radius of circle C. That's the inner circle. The inner circle C and the outer circle um, is K, I believe. Okay, so what is the radius of this inner circle? This one should be straightforward because they tell us the, the height of the square is 12 and they tell us the circle is inside the square. So that should be the radius there. That should be six, half of the uh, square. Um, don't need to do any calculations for that one really. Just write down six and you will get full marks. Um, part B, they ask you to work out the area of this circle. Again, C. Again, this should be a fairly straightforward one. We look up our tables and we should find that the area formula is pi r squared. And that's pi multiplied by six squared, which is, put that into a calculator, 36 pi, and ask the calculator to, to, um, to give you more decimal places than that. And you should get, rounded off to two decimal places, you should get 11, sorry, 113.10. I think it's 0 0.9 but it rounds up to 1.0. Okay, for part C, they ask us to work out the percentage of the area of the square that is taken up by the circle C. Let me draw it again without the outer circle. It's just the square and the inner circle. And they're saying, what percentage of that area is the inner circle? So just at a guess, I would say it's like 80%. Um, it takes up 80% of that square. So keep that in mind. It's always good to make a little guess at the start, just in case your answer is, uh, if I get an answer, it's 10%. I know I'm wrong, because that doesn't make sense. So how do we work this out? We have the area of the circle. All we need to do is get the area of the square. And the area of the square is 12 squared, which is um, 144. So what percentage of this is this? We just divide it. 113.1 uh, one, one, uh, one divided by 144 is equal to, um, rounded to the nearest, nearest percentage is equal to 70, 79%. What you get in the calculator would be, oh, I have it here, 0 0.7854 something, something. So to the nearest, um, the percentage, that's 70, 79%, goes up to the 79. Okay, on to part D. Part D, they actually give us the answer. They tell us that the radius of the bigger circle, circle K, is 8.49. 8 um, and they ask you to show that. Really what that means is find it. They're really saying find this but I don't trust that you'll get it right, so I'm gonna give you the answer so you can do the next part, is what they're really saying. Basically, find the radius of circle K. Um, circle, that, a bit tricky, I'd say, until you think of it this way. Put the line across the middle there. That goes, that's how you get a radius here. From here to here is the radius. Or it might be easier to find the whole length of it. And how I would do that, let me draw it again. Draw that triangle, it's 12 high, it's 12 across, it's from a square, so it's a right angle. So you should be thinking in your head, Pythagoras theorem. We should be able to find this length here, and then we wanna just find half of it. Let me just call it x for now. So if I find the length of this, it's x squared is equal to 12 squared, plus 12 squared. That's Pythagoras theorem. And if you don't remember it, it's actually in your um, formula book. So you don't actually have to remember. 
It's, it's something like a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared with a picture of a triangle beside it. Okay, let's clean this up. We get x squared is equal, uh, let's see, 288. Eight. x is equal to the square root of 288. And that is, let me get that on a calculator. That is uh, 16, about 16.97. Uh, but I wouldn't use this number, I'd use my calculator. Because what I really want is half of this, just divided by two. And I would get, um, let's see, or, I'll write it up here. Or is equal to 8.4. 8528. That's rounds off to two decimal places. That's roughly 8.49. That's it. You've shown that that is uh, the, the correct answer to two decimal places. Now, the last part, E, uh, usually I clean the board off, but honestly, I don't think I need that much room for this. Uh, work out the circumference of circle K. Again, the circumference is in our formula book. It's just a simple formula, two pi or. And we know what or is. They gave us or. We have it here in our calculator, um, or they gave us the, the number either. Um, so yeah, we just put that in. Calculator, two multiplied by pi, multiplied by 8.49, and you get uh, 53.31 is the circumference of the circle. Uh, just one note here, the answer it gives, uh, the examiner's answer was different than this because I think they used this number, whereas I used the correct number in the calculator. Uh, still, uh, they'll give you. Which, <laughs> basically, my answer is better than their answer, so th if that happens to you in the exam, you'll get full marks. <laughs> um, if you don't, you'll be able to argue it and you'll definitely get full marks. Anyway, there's the answer. I think the answer in the back of the book would be 53 points. I'm not sure. I think it was 3.4 or something like that. Um, again, they just used this number. They shouldn't have. It's rounded off. The correct answer is, is this one here. Okay, I hope that answers um, that question. If you have any follow-up questions, uh, put them in the comments below. And good luck in your exam, and I'll see you next time.